Is swiping a credit card on a random golden box really worth it? It costs you a total of 50,000 coins or 4,250 robux just to open one single crate, with a total of 6 obtainable golden skins in the game. However, is it really worth you grinding that hard just to swipe a random card on a crate? So let's take a look at the skins. I know what you want to say. Skins like the Golden Cowboy, Golden Crypt Box, or even the Golden Soldier really do suck on the game. While the Golden Minigunner, Golden Scout, and Golden Pyromancer does really well in the game. Is that true though? Well, I must say, yes. Let's take a look on the examples. A Golden Scout can easily get you to wave 37 on Fallen on its own, while the Golden Soldier can barely get to wave 22 on Fallen mode. That's the main point. If you take a look at the other 4 Golden Skins, you can clearly see that half of the Golden Skins are really good on the game, while the other 3 are just mid or even bad at the game. Imagine if you got the worst one out of the boss while Bruh. spending over 50 hours just to grind for one Golden Crate. Well, it just really sucks. However, that might look balanced, but actually, no. Let's take a look at the Golden Soldier again for the example. Getting it still costs 50k coins, but it does way less damage than the other 5 golden skins. Which kinda make it unfair, especially for someone like me, who got the golden soldier on their first golden crate. It just really doesn't motivate you to continue grinding for another golden crate, you know? So, the golden crate is really just a chance game. You might be able to get something really overpowered and carry you all over the game to get all the golden skins, or you can just get something that literally sucks and can't even carry you to half of the game or worse. One third of the game. Anyways, good luck and I hope you can actually get something good from your golden craze. Not like my golden soldier. Peace out.